Hello and welcome back to The Guardian TV. Here's what to expect in tomorrow's headlines. Being the 6th of August 2024, this is tomorrow's news today. Starting with our national news, Tinubu postpones Federal Executive Council FEC meeting and host security chiefs. Suspension of import duties on food items will end by November, says Abubakar Kiyari. Civil servants will receive first batch sale of 50 kilograms rice for 40,000 naira, says the federal government. Protesters flying the Russian flag have committed treason, says the defense chief. The protest ended after Tinubu's speech. Any demonstration in Lagos is illegal, says the police. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, registers 1,777,914 new voters ahead of Edo and Ondo polls. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, asks for referendum and says the Igbo people are ready to exit Nigeria. Kaduna imposes 24-hour curfew over looting and vandalism. Dogua tackles Kwankwaso and Jibrin over respect remark. Two Kogi officials have reported to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, in Abuja, says Kogi state government. Regarding the protest, police arrest producer of Russian flags and 30 others in Kano state. In our business news, the National Assembly is to investigate alleged corruption in the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, acquisition of Oando Vitol and Helios OVH Energy. Bitcoin price drops 13% to $52,000 amid the United States recession fear. Courts halt sale of Nigerian air to Ethiopian airlines. In our entertainment stories, don't spray money or you'll become Kirikiri landlord. Bobriski says after release from prison. Rude Boy blasts All Progressives Congress APC's Joe Ibokwe over comments on Peace Corps split. In our international news, Bangladesh Prime Minister resigns and flees the country amid violent protests. The federal government issues advisory to Nigerians in the United Kingdom over anti-immigrant protests. Finally, in our sport news, the Tigers brace for American challenge in Olympics quarterfinal. Regarding Paris 2024, China leads as the United States and France, as well as others, battle for Olympics medals. For more details of the news and more interesting reports, do visit our website at guardian.ng or get a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms at Guardian Nigeria. I'm Ifunaya Okoli for Guardian TV. Good night.